All right, I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing, but there's something flashing there, and I just want to... Oh! Check it out, the light came on! Oh my god! Guys, welcome back to Supercar Street Racing. Today we have what you see on the screen right here, the Philips Smart Sleep Wake Up Light Colored Sunrise and Sunset Simulation. Now, I was in the thrift store the other day and I had no idea what this thing was, but I am super fascinated by things in the thrift store. And I found this guy right there, you can see it in the background, sitting on the shelf and I was like, what is this thing? Didn't care though, I bought it anyway and brought it straight home. Now I had no idea that this thing actually was selling for about $193 and is actually still selling as we can see right here on the screen. So this is the five natural sound FM radio and reading lamp. This is the HF3520. And if we look down here, it says that it does personalized wake up and wind down simulated sunset and sunrise, 20 brightness settings, and five natural wake-up sounds. Now it also has an FM radio. You can snooze it, it's a bedside lamp, and an automatic dimmable display. Pretty crazy. It says it gives you energy to wake up and improve your morning. I don't know about that, but we will see. And it's clinically proven. So doctors have proven that this does supposedly do something with a little star by it, of course, recommended by physicians and pharmacists. Now this thing does have great reviews. It's got 13,000 reviews for a total of 4.4. Taking a look at some of the pictures here, that is exactly what you're seeing back there on that speaker over there. And here is the light. And it's supposed to simulate like a sunrise to wake you up. You can actually do that on the um, on your show device as well. And check out how it is a midnight light as well there. And as we scroll down here, we can see that other people have copied this device and selling it for much less. And there are some with colored LEDs and I believe this one just does one color as you can see here there's one design here that has a hole in it but we have the one that is a big globe now it doesn't change colors as far as I know so that just looks like it does only the sunrise color and then down here we have a bunch of videos here where people have reviewed it and a bunch of questions here as well and then all of our 4.4 star reviews for this Philips amazing smart sleep wake up light and then I've never actually known how to operate it I just got it and kind of just turned on the light and just leave it there but here is the actual operation manual that we can actually go through so it tells you here what's in the box just basically the lamp and the cord tells you the effects so it says it gently prepares your body for waking up during the last 20 to 40 minutes of sleep depending on the this the simulation that you set to it uh, in the early your early morning your eyes are more sensitive so you can wake up slowly you can actually do that on your show device as well like I said shows you here the device and the menu buttons here and how to navigate through the menus which are a little confusing so it wants you to place this between 16 to 20 inches from you on the bedside table. And then here is shows you how to set the clock time, which we can play with here in a, in a few minutes. Then you can select your wake up profile here. You can wake up at two different times. You can set your sound to wake up to FM radio or built in natural sounds, which I have not attempted. Here's how you adjust your clock times. 
and your display contrast, switching the lamp on and off. There's actually a little light on top. That is the one thing that I did figure out and how to do the brightness. I did figure that out. There's how you turn the FM radio on and off. This is a rather large alarm. This is the fall asleep. So you can fall asleep uh, with a timer. Your dawn duration settings here, a demo mode, which I did not know, which we will try that. Tells you how to store it, dispose of it, assistance, guarantee money back, and I'm assuming it's about to go to a different language. It does go to Francais after that. So the most curious thing that I have here is we will go through this with you when we get the um, device and we get a camera over by the device. So we'll do that next. We'll take a look at this thing up close and personal and go through some of the menu settings. Okay, we are here in front of the Philips light and this thing is supposed to wake you up at night and in the morning keep you more awake and make your wake up just gradual because the light gradually comes on instead of like popping on from the very beginning. So see here, it says it helps you wake up more pleasantly and it says the default time is 30 minutes and it gradually increases and it prepares your body for wake up. It says the effects of wake up light prepares your body to wake up in the last 20 to 40 minutes. It makes you more alert. Here's some of the icons and here is the device right here. So it shows you um, to navigate through the menus. You press the menu button. So menu is where? Menu select. Menu is on the front. And it's flashing O2. And it looks like this is where you set the time, I guess. I'm not sure. Yeah, it looks like that's the time set on this thing. You can see here it says 640. To exit the menu, you press the menu button or wait 40, uh, 30 seconds here. All right, so it says to set the clock time, you have to set the clock time when you plug the appliance in for the first time and when there's been a power failure. Let's hit menu. Ah. This has a short in it. Yeah, okay, the cord has a short in it. Okay, so it's not on the time set part. Let's see. Let's see if it'll come back up flashing. Yeah, this thing has a issue. It is not 641. All right, menu. It says 552. Let's lower this so you guys can see it better. Um, Menu. Okay, let's get out of it. Menu. So it thinks it's 641. Let's select that. Yes. 641. Let's see. It's 818. All right. Looks like we have an alarm on here too. Not sure what that's about. So we're past the first part to set the time when you first turn on the device. Now, when you set your wake up profile, you set your wake up time, the light intensity and the sound level. So you can set these two different wake up times if you wanna wake up at different time in the weekend. The procedures to set the wake up profile and wake up sound is the same for both. So you hit menu, 
and then there's a bell here you select it you select the time let's set it for 8 25 whoops let's set it for 8 22 and see what happens may not work because we have to have 30 minutes and then I guess this is the let's see time and then this has the brightness level it says and this is the sound level I take it says that the alarm's on. Let's see what happens here in a couple of minutes. I went ahead and turned the camera back on because as you can see, we're already getting some sunrise wake up action. So this is how this light works. It slowly comes on to wake you up. And you can see it getting brighter, so it will change brightness until your preset clock time, at which time it should be at 100%, I would take it, if that's what I put on my profile. So we have two minutes to go before that happens. And look, it is gradually brightening up here. And we still have actually a minute to go. So let's go down the menu. So you can actually choose different sounds um, when you put on, it looks like when you select, when you're going through the, the um, alarm settings, there's a little note here to select where you can do, it says it has five natural sounds. One of them looks like a bird, one of them looks like the radio, and there's some music. We got one minute to go before we get woke up here. Let's see what it's actually set to. Might be able to go in and look before it gets. Yeah, it doesn't say, I didn't see what sound it was. So let's just see. Now notice the light turning into more of a white light now. Less of a like a dusk or a dawn type of sunrise effect and more of just a bright white light. Should any second now be getting our wake up call. Come on. There it is. It looks like it's set to radio and the volume is probably turned down or it's not on a station so yeah that is the alarm um now let's go back to menu it never showed me like where to set the sound type that looks like volume but nowhere does it have what type of sound. Let's see. Menu, select, all right, menu, select. Okay, there it is. So you have to use the plus and minus. That's radio. That's bird. All right, I put it on bird. Let's go menu, go back to the alarm. Eight, ah, dang it. Eight, 24. All right, so we have our menu, our alarm set on 824. The light's not gonna be able to do anything because we are so close to our wake up time. Let's see how it acts at 824. 
probably won't be able to turn the light on that fast. You need a, it needs a couple of minutes at least to prime up. But let's see. Okay, it didn't do anything as far as sound. Yeah, I don't... It didn't do sound. Ah, uh, there it is. Aha, we found the sound. All right, let's hit the snooze. Okay, I think we hit the snooze button on the side. It looks like a little bell here. Now this is how you adjust the clock time. We already went into that, so we already know how to do that. And display contrast, you can go from level zero to level four. Advise you to set the contrast in a dark room. So you hit menu, and you hit select. It's not actually select, it's, it says select, you hit plus and minus till you get over to brightness. And the brightness is this little half moon looking thing. Then you hit select. So the instructions are actually wrong. You can only go one through four on that. Okay. All right, so there's a lamp button as a bedside lamp. There's a button up here with a little light indicator on it. You can adjust the light intensity by pressing plus or minus. And I saw this earlier, this is what blew my mind because I actually got it to turn on. And that's how you adjust the lamp brightness. Now to go FM radio, should, should be a volume. So that's interesting. Mine does not have that. Mine doesn't have an FM radio at the top. Mine has like a Bluetooth, has like a plus minus. Okay. There it is. All right, so mine is different. Mine doesn't say FM at the top. It just has a plus or minus track thing for like changing tracks. But I did found the FM, find the FM radio there. Here's how you switch the alarm off or on. There's a little bell icon right here on the side, as you can see there in the instructions. All right, so to snooze, you can tap the front of the wake up light to snooze. So you just, apparently you just touch that to get that done. So to do the fall asleep function here, to press the fall asleep button to switch the to on the fall asleep, the fall asleep time flashes on the display for a few seconds. Where's the fall asleep button? Over here? Yep. So this is how you do the fall asleep. You just set, you set a time, five to 60 minutes. And then I guess the light gradually decreases there to help you fall asleep as is indicated here in the manual and it looks like it'll play music until you fall asleep as well so this is the dawn duration it's the time in which the light intensity gradually increases to set the level before the alarm sound is placed defaults is at 30 minutes but you can reduce it so you press and hold down alarm one and two so there's a one there and there's a two there. And there's your dawn setting. See it flashing there. All right, so let's see the demonstration mode. Press and hold alarm and alarm two for at least 
three seconds. So this is alarm one, this is alarm two. I guess it's on, I don't know. Let's see. I can't tell if it's actually on, but it looks like the light is decreasing. Press and hold alarm. Switch off the demonstration. Press and hold the previous plus alarm button for three seconds again. Oh, or alarm, alarm one or alarm two. I was doing it wrong. All right, there's test here. Now we're in test mode. There it goes. So it's gradually lighting up there. So awesome. Pretty cool gadget. Something that Tecmoan would love, I'm sure. So you can adjust the audio feedback if you want to hear clicks when you do the buttons. Menu buttons have a backlight. If you move your fingers close to the buttons, the backlight lights up. That's pretty cool. I mean, I don't see it happening, but that's pretty awesome. Oh, there it is. These light up automatically when you get close to them these menu buttons. I'm wondering if you guys are seeing the the camera reacting to the LED. And that is the Philips wake up light, which I had no idea what it was until I grabbed it at the thrift store. And here comes our lovely music again to wake us up. And I just turned off the demo mode. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this look at the Philips wake up light. It is quite an interesting device. I've never seen anything like it before and pretty cool. If you guys have any comments, throw it down in the section uh, below the video and please like and subscribe. We'll see you guys on Supercar Street Racing.